What is up guys? Welcome to Live Travel Asia. So today we're gonna kick off our living in Bangkok series with something that is very central to living in Thailand for many Thais and even expats alike and that is honoring the king. So where are we going at this late hour, Mayu? <laughs> Sanam. How much did it cost to build this one-time structure? One seven. 17 billion I heard. That is... That's I can't even calculate that in my head, so I'll have to do it when I'm editing it. I'll flash how much that is, roughly in US dollars. Okay, so quick disclosure here, Mayu totally quoted wrong. She checked again on her Japanese website and it was 1.7 billion yen. When I googled it, Forbes was quoting about 90 million dollars for the funeral and 30 for the funeral pyre alone, which is the main central structure. Either way, this is a significant structure as we were soon about to find out. Anyways, they're gonna close at 10 p.m. So we're gonna get on this trusty scooter of ours. The Gundam sticker gives it 10 more horsepower, by the way. <laughs> and try to make it there on time so we can get some good footage and show you guys what this one-time structure is gonna look like. By the way, Mayu changed her hairstyle. <laughs> First of all, what is Sanam Luang? Sanam Luang is actually the wide open area located in front of the Grand Palace. Currently the royal crematorium of the late King Rama 9 is located there. So that is what people are usually referring to when they say Sanam Luang. So when we arrived at Sanam Luang, all I can say is we were amazed at how many people were still coming a month after the funeral to pay their respects to the king. As a matter of fact, as I'm making this vlog, the structure has been authorized to stay up for another month to accommodate for all the visitors before it's torn down. So after passing through two checkpoints, metal detectors, finally arrived at this big holding area where they're sitting us into columns so that we can wait our turn to proceed further. We expected a lot of people, but it's another thing to witness it in person and it just goes to prove just how much the late king was loved by the Thais. Okay, so this is gonna give us some time to look at this brochure to see information about Sanam Luang. So one page seems to have a map with all the locations and helpful information about the structure and the items used in the cremation. And a brief biography of the king along with pictures and his 10 virtues. To be totally honest with you, I was a bit surprised at first because I thought it being a funeral pyre, people would be in a more solemn mood. But in the humble opinion of this non-Thai observer, the radiant pyre shining in the middle of the night illuminating everyone around and making it almost impossible to frown in front of such magnificence. It felt like the king's final gift to the Thais and I imagine he would be happy being among his people which is ultimately what he believed to be his place in this world. I simply felt privileged to have witnessed this. At this point, I'll just leave you with some footage of this very special place as I don't think my narration can do true justice to it.
So after marveling at the central structure, we proceeded into the exhibit areas that housed the items used in the funeral along with explanations of how they were crafted and their significance. So now we're inside the buildings that showcase the actual items that were used for the cremation. So it looks like they use these tools to make the carvings. Wow, I can't believe how amazing those paintings look. All I could say is wow, when I realized how everything was painstakingly handcrafted and all the man hours that were put into the preparation of this funeral, it really hit home just how much the Thais loved their king and how much they wanted to make sure his send off was second to none, especially in the light of the fact that these structures are temporary and will be torn down soon after the funeral. Okay guys, so we just finished visiting Sanam Luang and it was an experience. It's not just the structure that is amazing here, but the exhibits truly show how much dedication and hard work was put into this project. It helps me better understand how much the king means to the Thai people. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video and you found it either informative or fun. And if you are new to this channel, please take a moment to subscribe if you like what you see and check back with us weekly for more vlogs about living and traveling in Asia. Hey guys, thanks again for watching the vlog and I want to also take this time to fully disclose I'm not an expert in Thai culture. I simply went to Sanam Luang as an observer. And if I have said anything to offend anyone, I apologize ahead of time. Everything I have said however comes sincerely from a place of respect in my mind for the Thai people and the late king, so I hope you can forgive my ignorance if I said anything offensive, as that would certainly not have been my intention. Anyways, I really hope this video was informative or insightful and I hope you visit us again next week.